Welcome to Sci-Fic Adventures, where truth hides beneath the surface. What if the largest predators weren't in Hollywood films, but silently lurking in swamps, rainforests and oceans right now? Picture a still mangrove swamp, heat rippling off the water, a shadow drifts beneath the surface. It's not a boat, not a log, it's alive, and it's watching you. Across continents and oceans, nature has produced titans, not the creatures of myth but of scale, real reptiles that dwarf humans, some tipping scales at over a ton. Some creep silently through rivers, others patrol the sea like ghosts. These aren't just large animals, they're survivalists, remnants of a time when Earth belonged to monsters. And they never left. They may not breathe fire, but the Komodo dragon has venom. Native to Indonesia, this eight-foot predator doesn't chase. It waits. Then it strikes. With serrated teeth and a bacterial punch, it brings down deer and buffalo. In India, the river-dwelling gharial slips silently beneath the water's surface. Its thin, elongated snout isn't just for show. It's a surgical tool. It slices through schools of fish with ease. South America's green anaconda is a silent executioner. Weighing up to 550 pounds, it crushes prey with hydraulic press strength. And it doesn't chew, it swallows whole. But size has its price. The Galapagos tortoise, once numbering in the hundreds of thousands, now walks alone. Centuries of hunting for meat and oil reduce them to less than 20,000. Their shells tell a quiet story of resilience and loss. Quiz time. What allows Komodo dragons to pursue prey more effectively than other lizards? Is it A, infrared vision, B, hollow bones, C, the ability to breathe while running, or D, forked tongues? The answer is C, the ability to breathe while running. Which large reptile was historically hunted for its meat, oil and shells, leading to a sharp population decline? Is it A, American alligator, B, Galapagos tortoise, C, gharial, or D, saltwater crocodile? The answer is B, Galapagos tortoise. In 1957, villagers along the Nile spoke of a creature that took men like shadows take sunlight. They blamed Gustav, a crocodile over 20 feet long. Fishermen vanished. Children disappeared while gathering water. Local reports said it struck without warning, dragging boats down. One night, under a blood-red moon, a tracker followed Gustav's trail. Deep drag marks, silence. No footprints, no sounds, just the weight of something ancient watching. Even today, the Nile crocodile kills over a hundred people a year. No one ever confirmed Gustav's death. If you're enjoying the story and want to support the channel, check out the official Sci Fic Adventures merch store. We've got gear that won't save you from a 60 foot drop, but at least you'll look good while running from danger. The Amazon River is dark even in daylight. Dense canopy chokes the sun. The air sticks to your skin. A field biologist steps from his canoe into thigh-high water. He's looking for signs of a green anaconda. Locals warned him, don't walk where the water looks still. Then he feels it, not a bite, a shift. The water pulls at his leg, slow but powerful. A thick, muscular shape coils around his calf. Panic floods in. The snake had been lying in wait, perfectly still, perfectly hidden. He jabs it with a metal pole. It loosens and he limps back to the canoe. He's lucky. Green anacondas wait. They suffocate. They swallow. Quiz time. What name was given to a man-eating Nile crocodile? A. Anubis B. Gustav C. Leviathan D. Juba, answer B, Gustav. What revealed the green anaconda to the field biologist in the Amazon? Was it A, a splash in the water, B, a sudden change in the current, C, the feeling of pressure around his leg, or D, a shadow on the canopy above? The answer is C, the feeling of pressure around his leg. 
Far from the swamps and jungles in the cold open ocean drifts the leatherback sea turtle. Unlike its shelled cousins, this turtle has no hard armor. Its back is smooth, leathery, almost prehistoric in texture. Each year it crosses more than 10,000 miles of open water. It dives deeper than most whales, reaching 4,000 feet below the surface. Down there, it hunts jellyfish by feel alone. One was tracked from Indonesia to the US, swimming non-stop for over a year. Not once did it see land. Its strength isn't in speed, it's in persistence and silence. In the Orinoco Basin, water moves like molasses, mangroves knot together above tangled roots. This was once the kingdom of the Orinoco crocodile, a beast stretching 16 feet, but now silence. Only 250 remain in the wild. Decades of poaching for meat, skin and fear brought them to the brink. In 2019, a young researcher named Camila witnessed something few ever have. Along a riverbank in Venezuela, she spotted a massive male gliding silently downstream. Its back cut the water like a blade. She held her breath, hidden in the reeds. The crocodile looked directly at her and vanished, a ghost in its own land. Quiz time. What adaptation helps the leatherback sea turtle survive in cold, deep waters? Is it A, heated blood, B, a leathery shell and thick body fat, C, gills for deep diving, or D, bioluminescence. The answer is B, a leathery shell and thick body fat. How many Orinoco crocodiles remain in the wild? A, 10,000 to 12,000. B, 2,500 to 3,000. C, 250 to 1,500. Or D, over 25,000. The answer is C, 250 to 1,500. In Australia's north, locals have a rule. Never stand too long near the water's edge. Saltwater crocodiles don't attack often, they wait. These creatures can grow longer than 21 feet, with jaws strong enough to crush bone in a single snap. They inhabit both freshwater rivers and coastal seas, an apex predator mastering both domains. In 2011, Lo Long, the largest saltwater crocodile ever recorded, was measured at 20.3 feet and weighed 2,370 pounds. In the dark waters of the Northern Territory, rumors persist. Boats capsize, livestock vanish, sometimes just a low thump like the world exhaling before silence returns. Out there, something larger might still be watching. From the coldest ocean trench to the heart of the Amazon, Earth's reptiles continue to defy time, fear and extinction. Which of these giants did you find the most awe-inspiring or terrifying? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more dives into the unknown. This has been Sci-Fic Adventures. Until next time, stay curious, stay brave, check out the merch and subscribe.